Good morning, it is I, Fat Sam, and today um, is Monday. Um, and I look like a mess, I know. Um, I've had a pretty rough weekend. I've actually, I've got fluid on my arm, for, well, on my elbow, and it's actually turned, got infected somehow. Or I've got an infection in my elbow as well now. Um, and I thought, as all men do, well, that's right, I'm just gonna plow through it, it'll get better. It, it didn't. I don't know why I, I always think that sort of stuff. It didn't get better. Um, and now I've got um, quite a painful infection in my arm. And it's sore. Um, and I'm told not to work on it. And this is one of the pitfalls about being a subcontractor. Whether you're going through an agency or direct. Is a lot of people. <laughs> and this is the truth. A lot of people have taken the mick using really silly excuses to not come to work on a Monday. Now, I really pride myself on not making excuses and just going to work anyway, which is ridiculous. It's another ridiculous thing I do. But the fact is, I can't really phone in and go, oh, I've got a sore elbow, I can't come to work. Because everyone's gonna mock you. No one really believes you. Um, and it damages your reputation. Now, and in this game, reputation's everything. Being consistent and reliable is probably the most key attributes to anyone you work for on site. Um, because what you have to be is low maintenance. Um, and if you phone in and sick on a Monday, you become not low maintenance. So let me find out what today um, has in store for me. Um, and we'll be back in a minute. So, the day has in store for me what I expected, and it is BMS. So I am making off the um, BMS cables, terminating them. Um, now, it's not really the same as um, doing power and lighting. There's uh, quite a few steps that you have to go through to terminate the cable. Um, and one of the major steps of that is deciphering the drawings. Now, these are pretty good drawings, actually. Um, they're not the best, but they are pretty good. Um, and I, and what you have basically with BMS, you have someone who does a panel, um, and then you have someone in the field who goes around and does all the um, terminations. The guy in the panel will have already started different colour sequences, so you have to liaise with the guy in the panel, um, and then once you've translated the the drawings. You get it down to something like that and then you can start making off because you've got to really take all the information from the drawings from the guy in the panel boil it down to something that's really easy to read and understand as you're as you're going around terminating it sounds more complicated than it is it just takes a little bit more prep time to understand what cables go where and then what you have to also have on each cable is um, a number and they're feral numbers so you break off one of these. Oh, that's not great. You break off one of these and you put it on um, on the cable, you know, according to what number it is. I've done a time lapse video that I'm going to put in after I finish talking to show you exactly what it entails doing a um, bit of second fixing BMS style. So hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm. 